Guys, what is up? Excited to bring you the acoustic tutorial for Elevation Worship, my testimony. Loving this song because the acoustic is out front, especially in an era where, you know, the electrics dominate the, the worship music and the, the tones and the sound. Loving that the acoustic's out front and it's dominant throughout the whole song, so I definitely wanted to show you how to play the song. So first, um, um, it's, so they do it in the key of key of B, which is which is you know your your capo four, and then um, these easy G shapes. So the song really just has four dominant chords: the G, C, E minor, and then D. Uh, but there is um, there is an A minor snuck in there on the tail end of uh, the last chorus. So I'll show you that in a minute. But, so they do a capo four for the lesson. You know me, I like to take it down just a couple capos for the vokes so I can just show you and, and you know, kind of sort of sing where we're going and the chords and the changes and all that stuff. So when you play along with the recording, pop, you know, pop it on capo four, G, uh, G shapes. Otherwise experiment with whatever capo uh, works for you. So I'm gonna start off with, so this is really, there's a tough, uh, it's kind of like a tough strumming pattern. So I'm gonna spend a good bit of this lesson uh, working and, and showing you what the strumming pattern is, the very basic strumming pattern. Um, so the, just the first verse, it goes G, C, G, C, um, so you know what? We'll just we'll just focus on those first two lines. So the the strum pattern goes. So that is going to be a very basic strum pattern. You don't have to do this strum pattern. You can do whatever you want. But um, everyone always asks, you know, what what strum pattern would you recommend? Um, you know, can you tell me what you're strumming? So just to give you a super basic foundation, this would be it. So it's gonna be down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So a little bit faster, it sounds like this. like full tempo and just kind of like singing it. And then that goes to the E minor. So we'll get there in a second. So um, I'll put these strum patterns in the description just so this helps you guys out a little bit. Uh, that's going to be your very basic strum pattern for basically almost the entire song. The verse, the chorus, the bridge is going to be a little bit different, but obviously we're going to get there in a couple minutes. So, so you can do that. And then once you start really getting going and you, you know, you're feeling comfortable, just kind of add, get that rhythm going get that wrist going and, and uh just you know add some up up and down strokes so anyways back to the verse so it goes I saw So the E minor and the 
D there, the, the last line. So my name is registered in heaven. So those are just going to be, those aren't full beats. So those are going to be down, 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 up, down, 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 up, heaven. So I'll just play that one more time through just the last two lines of the, of the first verse. And just remember on the, on the, my name is registered. So that's just the E minor is down, 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 up, D, down, 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 up. So, uh, but the miracle I just, something like they get over. My name is registered in heaven. So that is a little bit of weird, uh, just, you know, lyrics that, you know, you can figure it out. Listen to the song. Um, but that's going to be your strum pattern for the verse. Same thing for verse two. Uh, there's just a tag on the end of verse two where it's like, my name is registered in heaven. This is going to get into the chorus, which again, same basic strum pattern, the down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So it's going to be the same thing, um, at least on the, the, um, the G and the, um, you know what, we'll just, we'll, we'll get into it and we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So... That's what it was. So it was the E minor to the C. There's just kind of a quick little change there. And it's basically you're going to be doing what you did on that E minor and the D on the first, on the end of the verse. So it's down, 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 up, down, down, down. Up. So it's really quick. So this is my testimony. down 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 up and it's pretty quick so just kind of be working on the song and you know work at it and you'll definitely um you'll definitely get it with with some practice um so anyways that'll go into this is my testimony kind of like interlude between verse or between the chorus and then verse three so verse three same same as the first uh two verses chord progressions the same strum patterns the same and then um after that next chorus there's that turn around turn around again kind of the the interlude before the instrumental before the bridge so that turn around again, it's just your chorus chords. Do, 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 do. You'll do that twice, and then the instrumental, just a quick instrumental leading into the bridge is just on the D or the G. Same strum pattern. But then the strum pattern does change a little bit when we get into the bridge. So the first part of the bridge is is um, just a little bit softer so I have two strum patterns for you um, one is gonna be super chill kind of chill the other one is gonna be a little bit more advanced so um, so the first one is down so down up So 
This will make a little bit more sense. I'll put it in the link too or in the description. So I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. If I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. So it's just a Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down, up. So once you kind of get going a little bit, you'll definitely kind of pick up the rhythm and the the um kind of that the timing. So um yeah, you know what? I'm going to scrap the advanced strum pattern. If you want the advanced strum pattern, it's just more rhythm. I'm not dead, you're not done. Greater things are still to come. Do, 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 do. It's just, it's the same structure. I'm just adding in some more upstrokes and downstrokes. So if you wanted it, you can just leave a comment. And I'll put it, I'll, you know, respond to you. So anyways, that goes to the, um, back to the chorus. You'll do the chorus one time, same as the first two choruses. And then I was telling you about that A minor that they sneak in at the very end on the chorus. So the last time you do it on the last chorus, honestly, you probably can just do it the same way. And like, no one would know, especially if you're just jamming and you're like, you know what, screw it. I don't want to go to that. A minor, you could, you're, you're fine without it. But if you want to follow along just with the chord charts and everything, so it's, um, this is my testimony from death to life. Cause grace rewrote my story. So you, you hit that A minor in there. I'll testify. So basically just instead of going to that E minor at the end, you're doing the A minor. So, this is my testimony. This is my testimony. From death to life. Cause grace we wrote my story. So, you might have to play around with it, um, but it, it's just, it's gonna be that E minor or the G. This is my testimony. From death to life. Cause grace we wrote my story. Testify. That's what it is. So for the A minor, you can do a full A minor seven if you want to. That does require you to take all of your fingers off where you were and do that, which is a little inconvenient for a rhythmic up-tempo song like this. So I just do the easiest A minor I know, which um, if you need help, I'll put a link up top, a link down below. You just get into your C9 position, pop the middle finger off, mute the top string. There you go, that'll be your A minor for this uh, in the key of G. So uh, that's the only change. Then it just, you know, it does the chorus a couple more times and then you can, I think in the live version, it'll go, you know, maybe the bridge again. So have fun with it. I'm thinking these strum patterns are gonna help. I hope uh, it made sense. As always, just leave a comment if you're not sure of the strum pattern, if something's a little confusing, just leave a message, leave a comment and, um, and I'll get back to you. So yeah, have fun with it. It's a great song to jam to, to worship to, to praise to. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and um, I will talk to you uh, next time. Take care.